Hello, I'm Sarah Frey. I'm the Head of Admissions here at Briamont. We know that travelling might be difficult for you right now, but you'd love to discover our school. So let's go. We're going to do a virtual tour together. Come with me. So Briamont has a beautiful campus and we're just five minutes away from the city of Lausanne, which is the Olympic capital with loads going on for young people. Lots of great shops, cafes, restaurants and in incredible sporting facilities because it's the Olympic capital. Our campus is amazing, just have a look around. If you look here you can see our beautiful buildings which date from the beginning of the 20th century, the end of the 19th century. Incredibly beautiful with our famous passerelle, the little bridge here, with wonderful views over Lac Léman and the Alps. We have eight buildings on campus and most of the buildings we have boarding accommodation upstairs and classrooms downstairs with boarding separated into boys and girls. Should we go into the first building, the main building, Chateau? Come with me. So here we are in front of Chateau, Le Chateau. Chateau is our main administrative building and it's where the reception is. So when you come to visit the school, it's the first place that you'll come to. We have classrooms here, we have our science labs downstairs and our library and other classroom spaces too. We also have all our officers, the head of academics, the head of school, we're all here together. And very importantly, our accounts department where every week you can go to get your pocket money. So when you come to Briamon, you ring at the doorbell of Chateau and you'll be welcomed by a member of our team. And then you'll have the chance to talk to different people in the school. One of the people that you'll talk to is Patricia, who is our admissions secretary and she'll do the visit of the school with you. Let's meet Patricia. Hello, I'm Patricia. I'm the admissions secretary here in Briamon. I speak um, Spanish, French uh, and Italian and I will be very happy to help you here and to welcome you to our school for a visit and enjoy the rest of the tour. So when you arrive at the school, you come into the reception room here where we welcome you. This is where we welcome all our families. You can see the ladies' portrait uh, on the wall was Madame Françoise Frey Huguenin, who was a fourth generation uh, family member because Briamont is a family school. It's the fifth generation. So we don't belong to a group. We are a family school, which is very special uh, in these times. And here on the wall you can see our certificates of accreditation because we are accredited by the Council of International Schools and NIASC in the States. This is very important because it means that you're coming to a school which meets certain criteria and has a guarantee of quality and always seeking to improve. So when you come here we'll talk together, we'll take the time that you need to talk, to explore all the different aspects of the school, the academic, and the leisure activities and all the opportunities for growth and learning that you'll find here. Maybe you're coming to talk about the school year, maybe you're coming to talk about the summer course. We can't wait to see you here with us finding out more. So when you arrive in Chateau, you come up the stairs and you arrive in the lovely entrance hall where you can see lots of trophies um, showing how good our sports teams are because we have lots of sports teams for you to join in. And there's always information here conveyed for you on the information boards. If we go here, we can see our, our honour roll. So we have our academic honour roll and our attitude to learning award. Um, so these are important objectives for you to strive towards during the school year because everybody can certainly be on the attitude to learning award. Downstairs we have a wonderful spacious classroom, very beautiful with a view over the lake, so try not to get distracted by the view, because actually you're here to learn. And in this classroom we have, uh, all the classrooms have wireless and they all have uh, screens and technology, so the teachers can incorporate uh, internet, can incorporate different means of visual communication into their, uh, their classroom work with you. This is a large classroom, but our classrooms are actually small, with an average of nine students per classroom. So you're really getting very personalised, one-to-one -one teaching. So here we are on the first floor of Chateau. 
And on this floor, we have different offices. We have the marketing office, we have the teacher's staff room, so you might need to go there to give homework to your teacher or to speak to a teacher. And we have our head of academics, Mr. McLean. Let's go and meet him. Welcome to Brillamore. I'm the head of academics. I've been at Brillamore for 17 years. and I look forward to welcoming you, working with you to get a programme that will help you meet your full potential. At Brillamore, we give you skills and opportunities for you to develop and grow as an individual. An important part of the school is Thymon. The school participates in two Thymon conferences, one in Singapore in November and one in Holland in The Hague in January. These conferences bring together international students from all over the world and our students research aspects of a certain country and present and defend their policies and ideas in front of other students. So it's an amazing opportunity to develop public speaking skills and confidence and to learn about how to make your voice heard. And being part of a Briamon community means being part of a family. And one way which we nurture and celebrate that is through our house system. We have five houses in the school and each house is composed of different nationalities and different ages. And the students get together regularly to do house events and to do team building skills together. So it's about building a community with house leaders who develop leadership skills. And moving on here in Chateau, we always have a beautiful display of artwork. We have an amazing art department in school who do incredible things, whether it be graphic design, painting, uh, charcoal, uh, also photography. And uh, every year we have students who continue to, to leading art schools across the world, including places like Central St. Martins and Parsons School of Design. So really we are absolutely equipped to help stimulate your creative talents. And here is information about Habitat for Humanity. Briamon's been engaged with Habitat for Humanity for over 10 years and the students do fundraising events throughout the year. And then the highlight of the year is a building project where they go abroad to a country where people are living in difficult housing conditions and students help this organisation to build a house for a family. So it's an amazing experience and our students have been to places as diverse as Romania, Portugal, Nepal, Cambodia, Vietnam. So it's an incredibly rich opportunity to broaden one's horizons and to step out of the comfort zone. And service learning opportunities also exist within the soup kitchen in Lausanne. So every week we have students who go down to the soup kitchen with teachers and they serve meals for people who are living in difficulty on the streets of Lausanne. We also have been involved in projects like lakeside cleanups and environmental projects, as well as cancer awareness events. So service learning is a very important part of the Briamont experience and we really want you to take advantage of that. So here we are in our library area. We have a wonderful librarian who's here to help our students and teachers to find any resources and materials they need. And we have an incredible view. We're here on the Patarelle, which is the bridge that you saw earlier. I mean, what a view, how inspiring is that? Lots of books for um, adapted books, you know, full readers, uh, easy readers, for a range of different abilities, and also books in students' own language as well, which is very important that you're keeping connected with your native culture. As you can see here, we have uh, lots of periodicals as well to support uh, the different classes that we teach here in the school and our librarian always pulls out selections of different books which tie in to subjects being studied in the classroom. Every week we have, every, sorry, every year we have a reading week which celebrates the art of reading and brings together different, uh, different courses in the school in a sort of cross-curricular week and the highlight of that week is having a writer who comes into school and who does workshops with students. So we've had manga writers, we've had historical novelists, we've had filmmakers come in. So it's a really rich experience and gives the students many opportunities to develop a passion and a love of words. 
And let's just step outside onto the balcony so we can enjoy the amazing view. So as we look down the lake, we can see the mountains of the Swiss Alps. So we're about an hour away from the mountains. And in the winter time, we go skiing at weekends on a Sunday and we have a fantastic ski week every February. Over there we have France, so we can take a boat over the lake to France, to Evian. And we'll also do other trips to places like Milan, to Paris. Um, obviously always keeping a very careful eye on the sanitary situation. And you get a really good view of our campus here. So you can see that we have our tennis court down here. We have a clay tennis court, but we also use the tennis facilities of the Lausanne Tennis Club, um, where we have a Saturday morning tennis club. In addition to the numerous sports clubs that we have, whether it be football, volleyball, kickboxing, yoga, trampoline, swimming, we have lots of different clubs for you to get involved in. And also artistic and creative clubs like cooking or photography or tea and talk or going to visit exhibitions. And we can see the Swiss flag flying there. You know, in Switzerland, we have four languages. We have French, German, Italian, and a language called Romanche. And learning langu languages is a very important part of Briamont. You'll do all your learning in English, but we will want you to learn French, which is a local language. And we'll give you every opportunity to learn the French and to practice your French in the local community, because what better way to learn than actually speaking to real French-speaking uh, natives. So here we're in a bedroom and students usually share a bedroom with somebody of a different nationality. That means that they get to make friends um, from another culture, they get to learn about another way of living and these friendships really last for life. You know, we have alumni who come back who are now in their 50s, 60s, 70s and they are still in contact with their Briamon friends so that's really wonderful to hear that. So our students share with somebody of a different nationality. There's a teacher living on every floor looking after them. At the moment, our students have gone home, so the bedroom is looking quite empty. Um, but you have to imagine that the students have got pictures and po postcards, photos of family members, decorations. They can really personalise it, um, obviously respecting the, the decor of the, of the bedrooms and not, not causing any damage, but they can make it their own space. And that's really important because Briamont is going to be your home for the next however many months or years. So it's really important that you feel happy and at home here and that you have these, these things that connect you to your, to your life and your family and friends. So sharing with somebody of a, nation, of the state, of a different nationality, um, you may have a private bathroom depending on where you are. There's only one boarding house in the school that has private bathrooms but otherwise it's three to four students per bathroom and the bathrooms are also big and spacious are very modern so you have everything in there so a really high level of comfort our bedrooms are some of the biggest out of all the boarding schools that I've seen and I've visited many many boarding schools over the years um, and our rooms are really amazing because they have a wonderful inspiring view the majority of them look over the lake and mountains so again you know, it really calms uh, the soul to have such an incredible view. So here we can see some more of the Briamont campus. This building here is called Moribo and it has classrooms downstairs and bedrooms upstairs. It's the biggest boarding house with rooms right up in the attic, massive rooms, really beautiful rooms. Um, we have our dining room here where we eat all our meals together like a family as you would at home with mum and dad with members of staff eating at the table with you a choice of vegetarian or meat menu and very healthy food very balanced food we have another building after that called pierre gris where we have classrooms and bedrooms you can see the lovely flowers in front of it and then down here we have a three three further buildings where we have our art department and then some more residential buildings we have our multi-purpose court here um, and our multi-purpose court, we use it for many different sports. We already saw the tennis court. Um, so this is a very important space. And you can see from here how close we are to the city. So about five minutes walk from here, we have the city center. And before you get there, we have our full-size Olympic swimming pool, which belongs to the city, which is literally 
um, 100 metres along the road. So we quite often go there to do swimming classes. The city of Lausanne is very beautiful. It's a very safe city. It has about 150,000 inhabitants, very multicultural. And as I said before, so much going on that appeals to young people. So we really have the best of both worlds with the attractions of the city and the beauty of the Swiss nature very close to hand. So I'm standing here in front of our multi-purpose hall, which we built um, about eight years ago now. And we wanted to have an amazing space for our students where they can come together for events, where we have our prize giving and graduation day, and which generally is used as a sports hall for the students. If we go underneath here, it's magic because we come into this amazing uh, multi-purpose hall where we have classrooms and we have an incredible full-size gym with lots of facilities, uh, lots of things like uh, gymnastics uh, facilities, but we can play badminton, hockey, basketball, football in this space. Our eighth graders have music as part of their school programme. But then any student can continue with music as an individual lesson. So learning the violin, the piano, the saxophone, whatever you want, either here on campus with a teacher coming to the school or going to the teacher locally or to the conservatory. And we also have a school vocal band. So if you're a good singer, why not join the vocal group? Um, and we have a rock band too. So we're always looking for musicians to come together and to work together and collaborate and to celebrate the Briamont uh, musical spirit. So it's been great having you with us for this virtual tour. Of course, nothing replaces discovering Briamont in person and we hope to see you in person soon. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to contact us. We're here to help you to help make the admissions journey, whether for summer or the school year, as easy and seamless as possible. Take care and hope to see you again soon. Bye bye.